Welcome back to the channel. So today I've got an X7. It's the G07 chassis. This is the X-Drive 40i version. Hopefully you can tell by now this is drive it gray. It's a semi-individual color for the X7. It doesn't really cause any delay in production. But hopefully this is coming out on video that you can see this is gray with some bronzish, goldish, metallic flaking. So it does change color in the sun, going from a very darkish gray. You see hints of green in here with that metallic flaking. But a fantastic color, I think one of our more popular colors as well. So the X7 is powered by the B58 inline six twin scroll turbo engine. 335 horsepower in this variant. I believe it's 330 torques. So it's the lower output B58, so not the one that you'll see in the M40i versions from other models. We've got the Shadowline package. So blacked out grills. We've also got the driving assistance package. You see in the front here the sensor. So the 22 is the last. X7 before the LCI version debuts for the model year 23, which will begin production in August. So I'm filming this in roughly mid-May. So this X740i is fairly well specced. See here on the side we got the 754M wheels, which to me sort of remind me of the 437M wheels that were on the previous gen M3, M4, of course, the original M2 as well. So we opted for the M Sport brakes. This one has the blue calipers. The other option, I think, is black. So no red calipers for the X7. I also have the air suspension in its lowest setting. So to me, this looks like a large, fast wagon. It's unfortunate since we don't get fast wagons here in the US market, so we're missing out on the first ever production M3 touring slash estate slash wagon. It looks pretty aggressive. Of course, we we'll have to wait and see what the LCI or life cycle impulse looks like in person. So pretty dramatic change. Here's your Dravit out of direct sunlight. You can see darker gray coming out. Our roof rails also in high gloss black for the M Sport version. Our hockey stick is also in black. No laser lights on this one. I believe that one's only reserved for the X7 M50i, which will then be replaced by the M60. So we'll discuss that when we get some of those in, which probably won't be until late September at the earliest. All right, so opening up, we've got Tartufo in merino leather. So it's a, an extended leather, so it's not full leather. But looks fantastic. And the seat's moving right now because I have the massage seats on. Just to test them out. Nice quilting here on Tartufo. Very rich brown as well. Which I personally think goes fairly well with Ravid Gray. Also with Arctic Gray. Basically any gray, really. Almost any color as well. All right, so moving on the inside, we've got our familiar live cockpit. iDrive 7, which of course will now be replaced by iDrive 8 for the 23 model year, so we'll go over that. If you haven't seen any of other videos, I think we'll have one up shortly going over a lot of the iDrive 8 features as we're still learning about it. To the, it's the brown poplar wood trim as well. Very interesting design. Almost like a matte effect for the wood trim. All right, so let's go over options and pricing. So, the X7 starts at just under $75,000. Drevet Gray Metallic adds another $19.50. The Tartufo Merino Leather adds another $1,000. Cold weather package which you must get with either the exec or premium package, that or the four zone climate control for 1100 bucks. 
driver's assistance package, another 1700 bucks. Luxury seating package would get you the massage seats as well as the multi contour seats for 1600 bucks. M Sport package for another 4350 Parking assistance package for 800 bucks. Premium package, 1900 which basically says gesture control, but also heads up display. And then we have got the M Sport brakes with blue calipers for 650 Second row captain's chair, which we'll show you momentarily for 850 Another 300 bucks for the extended shed line trim. All told, MSRP is just over $92,000 for this X7. So again, fairly well equipped for a base X7. There are controls for the driver assistance package over here as well. M Sport steering wheel. I'm just taking in this interior. Take a look at the back seat momentarily as well. I should. This car does not have Harman Kardon. It has the base hi-fi system, which of course is a bit disappointing. To me, it sounds really muted, so it's not very loud. Uh, so, Harman Kardon is now back on the X7s as well as the X5-45E. So if you have the opportunity to order one, make sure you do that if you like the sound systems. All right, so backing up, see our gigantic door leading to the second and, of course, third rows. So here we got the second row with captain's chairs. I think it's a good luxury option, but does come with some trade-offs. We'll discuss those momentarily. We go back to the trunk. So obviously your passenger situation is six passengers rather than seven with a bench. So let's open up the back of the X7. All right, so here's our third row up. So, of course, you do have controls on the left-hand side for folding down particular seats or moving them. So max passengers. This is where we're at now. Max luggage. And here's where you're going to see the drawback of the captain's chairs. So seats are folding down. This is your max capacity for luggage. So with the captain's chairs, you of course will lose the ability to fold down those second row seats, basically flat. So that's really, so that's really the drawback of those second row captain's chairs is you lose a lot of space here to move things around or haul things around. So keep that in mind if you're ordering next seven and you want to use it for hauling things around, you want to make sure you have the bench seat, which enables you to have much more space than with the second row captain's chair. So carry more passengers and also use much more of the space available to you. All right, so we'll take one more walk around our lovely Dravit Gray. So again, out of direct sunlight, and then moving our way over to into direct sunlight, you can see that metallic flaking coming alive on the car and dynamically changing it. So very good color, good option to have. I think one of our more popular colors as well, other than of course alpine white and black which is, I don't really like those things. I want to make sure that you have some colors. That's why our inventory is specced slightly differently and perhaps other dealers. But that's it for that quick tour around the X7, X-Drive 40i and Dravit Gray. And we'll see you at the next video.